Hey kids, welcome to another edition of Cooking with Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to make sweet and sour meatballs. You know, you could use uh, tofu or chicken or something like that, but so the main thing is I'm going to show you how to make the sauce and what makes for a good sauce and how to make it thicker because that's something I learned uh, the hard way when I was younger, so I thought I'd pass along that information to you. Um, and then we also sometimes will add broccoli to it too, and I think that's good as well. I'm not going to in this particular recipe, but you know, there's different variations, but it's, it's good to know how to make a good, a good sauce, right? And what, what the trick is to that. So, but before we do that, I do have a dad joke for you. <laughs> so, you know, these are green peppers and red peppers, but what do nosy peppers do? They get jalapeno business. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. Okay, so like I've showed you before, it's always good whenever you're using cans like this, canned goods, you want to wipe them off first, right? Wipe them off. I just got a wet paper towel and I'm just wiping those off. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and um, we want to have roughly two cups of pineapple juice. So we're going to go ahead and drain this one. We're just going to lift the lid back just a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and drain it. Okay, and we're just going to set the pineapple aside. And then I'm going to go ahead and use just another small can of pineapple juice. Okay, and we're going to pour that into there. Okay, that's ready to go. Um, we'll just set this over here. And that's roughly two cups, a little bit shy of two cups but we're gonna add that when we start making our sauce here. So we need this ahead of time. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and turn on our burner. And I got it on like a six, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the majority of my pineapple juice. I'm not gonna add it all, you're gonna see why. I'm gonna hang back just about that much. Maybe I can let out a little bit more, okay? And then we wanna add our rice vinegar so that's you know roughly two cups of pineapple juice and now we're going to add a half a cup of rice vinegar you could get away with other vinegar i've used other vinegar and it's been fine okay so and then we want to add some ketchup it says a quarter cup of ketchup but you can just eyeball this that looks about right okay and then we're going to go ahead and add some soy sauce again you can kind of eyeball it it's roughly a tablespoon but whatever you think is good. Stir, go ahead and stir that quick. Okay, just to kind of get it around. Okay, and we're gonna bring this to a boil, but we're gonna go ahead and add, we gotta add our brown sugar and it's a, a half a cup of brown sugar, okay? Okay, and you want that brown sugar to dissolve in there, so we wanna get that spread around, okay? And we're just gonna go ahead and bring that to a boil. So while that's working on that, we're gonna go ahead and get our sauce thickener. And this is something that I, I remember <laughs> when I was younger and I went to a restaurant and they made sweet and sour pork or something. And the sauce was runny, it was awful. And so the simple fix to that is you just add cornstarch. So all you do is just add cornstarch or you add flour. If, it's, if you're going to use flour and you don't have cornstarch, you need a little more flour than you do if you're just using cornstarch. Um, but I'll show you what that looks like. And what you need to do is you need to mix that separately. So we got this, and this is going. I'm just going to leave that, set that aside. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and make our, our thickener. And you just take cornstarch. This is just some cornstarch here. And we're going to use a tablespoon of cornstarch in with our pineapple juice. If you forgot <laughs> to hold back some of your pineapple juice, no big deal. You can just put a little bit of water. It's just gonna, you know, dilute the taste a little bit, but you won't even notice it probably. So, so we're just gonna go ahead and put roughly a tablespoon of cornstarch into here. Okay. And you ever hear about uh, lumpy gravy, lumps in the gravy, that sort of thing? It's because somebody, <laughs> people that maybe don't know this, they'll add the cornstarch directly to this. And you can't do that because it'll create lumps. And so you want to whisk this. So now I just got my little whisk and I'm going to whisk this good. Because if you don't do this, you'll end up with chunks in your 
in your actual sauce there. You want to make sure you get rid of all the chunks while the water, while the pineapple juice is cold or water, right? So whisk that good. And then that's your thickening agent. So we want this to boil first. Let's go ahead and check on that. Not quite boiling. I could turn it up a little bit. Okay, and I've done this multiple ways where I've added the pineapple now, I've added the peppers now, I've added the meatballs now. I think it's best to do it this way because then the sauce gets mixed good by itself first and nothing attaches to any of the other ingredients. And then you can add the other ingredients once this is good and once it's thickened a little bit too. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll get ready to add this. Okay, it's been a couple minutes and it's starting to boil. So you can see how runny the sauce is right now, right? Sweet and sour sauce. It's pretty runny, right? So you'll get to see what that looks like when it's thickened. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this. And you can see I got no chunks in here, right? I want to get rid of all chunks. Okay, set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. Okay, we wanna stir that good now. So that gets throughout the whole thing. And I like to just kind of work it like that and just kind of stir it. Okay, so it wasn't thickening up as much as I'd like it. You know, you can, it's all whatever consistency you like. So what I ended up doing is I added a little bit more, a little more water, just a tiny amount of water, and then mixed in a little more cornstarch and poured that in. So now it's, it's a much better consistency for, for what I like. So let's increase that, <laughs> that recipe to two tablespoons of cornstarch if you like the sauce a little thicker. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my meatballs. And these are frozen. I could throw them in a the microwave. I'm just going to go ahead and throw them directly in here. I think my sauce looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty golden there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this directly in here. And yeah, you can home make these if you want, but these are pretty handy packets I have found um, work well. And there's some that are Italian style, and these are home style. I think these are probably better with this particular uh, recipe. But if you're, you know, using, uh, if you're making spaghetti, obviously the Italian one would be better. But I think this is better for this, so I'm just going to cut that off. Go ahead and add those directly in. Okay. I'm going to stir that a little bit. And then we're just going to let those simmer for a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and work on my uh, peppers. Okay, because you could add the peppers now and the pineapple now and just let it cook. And I think that's fine. I, t uh, you know, years of experience, I've found that I like my vegetables a little crispier. And then you probably saw in my salmon video, if you watch that, my, the potatoes, I just like things. I don't like it so mushy. I kind of like a little bit of texture to it. And, you know, you could eat a green pepper raw, <laughs> so um, it's not going to hurt anything to cook it less. Same with a pineapple, right? You could just eat it right out of the can. So um, we want to keep those kind of intact, in my opinion, but you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on low heat, probably like a three, and I'm going to go ahead and cover it for now, too. And then I'm going to work on my peppers. All right, so I like a red and green pepper. That's what I like to add, and one about this size I think is perfect for, for what we're making. So rinse that off good. And the way I cut these is I just go, I like to cut right down here like that and just cut that stem out. Okay, pull that out. Same thing here. So it all depends on how you want these. Uh, if you want bigger chunks, I like bigger chunks. So what we normally do is just kind of slice them like that. Okay. 
going to be a lot of peppers. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at this. Sometimes this can be hot. Oh, it's not too bad. Ooh, looks good. Excellent. <laughs> you probably can't see it. Okay, let's set this guy down over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and add our peppers. You don't have to add this many peppers. And you could add broccoli too. Broccoli is a great thing for this. So there we go. Go ahead and stir that in. Boy, looks great. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add my pineapple now too. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. Wow. Looks so good. Smells good too. All right, I think I've showed this in other videos. Just as a reminder though, I've actually cut my, my palm right here on one of these that was loose in our recycle when I was pushing down on the recycle. And so what I always do is I put that lid inside there and then I pinch this, right? So that makes it hard for that thing to escape. And then I put that in the recycle. Let's take a look at this. Looking good. See, I'm, I'm glad we added that extra cornstarch because this sauce is a good thickness. And then you saw when I added the pineapple, it added a little bit more moisture to it. So it would have taken away even from the thickness of that. But see how that's a nice, good thickness to that. And if you like it thicker, you just do what I showed you, where you just add a little bit more cornstarch. Just got to add it cold, mix it together, and then add it into your sauce. Okay, let's go ahead and get our rice. Take that. And this is another one I like to put right over the top of the rice. Just remember, if you're going through a tough time right now, Things are temporary. I've lived long enough to recognize that. You know, you can be dealing with something and it seems like it's the worst thing ever. And then it can become a distant memory pretty fast. I realize people, there's different degrees of what people are going through, so I don't want to belittle that. But I have seen in my own life where it's pretty tough times and then just a little bit, <laughs> wait a little bit, and things tend to turn around. And then also uh, when things are good too, you know, those unfortunately are temporary. So just be prepared as you go through life that you'll end up running into some tough times and you'll run into some amazing times. It's all part of the, the roller coaster that is life. So I hope you, uh, I hope you keep, keep on keeping on and uh, hang in there and do the best you can and that's all you can do right so I'm so glad you're here thanks for uh, thanks for spending a little bit of time with me all right so I hope that was helpful for you yeah that little trick with knowing how to uh, thicken sauce is very important it'll come in handy for you at Thanksgiving for uh, any kind of sauce that needs thickening you just use that corn cornstarch trick or flour and again, if you don't have cornstarch, that's fine. Just use flour. And then the flour, you'll just need to have add a little extra to do it. And then if it's still not to your liking, you can go ahead and get a little bit more water and then add a little more cornstarch and then pour that in too and then let it thicken. So, all right. So like I said, it was great to see you and I uh, appreciate you being here and thanks for watching and God bless you.